Hey guys, we are the Lockdown Travellers and why are we still travelling? We are coming to you today to give you a bit of an update on what we've been doing, why haven't we gone home yet, why we're still travelling, where are we? So we decided to change it up, we're not just going to keep on the road and roadie. But there is so much of the world and so much that we have done already. All of our previous videos have basically been about our Thailand travels of us doing our road and roadie where we travelled 7,000 k's through Thailand. But um, seeing as we've seen so much of the world and we're just, well we're a lot behind on our videos, we're going to chuck in some other updates such as what we did in Paris, Amsterdam, Mexico and now in the beautiful Panama. Um, a lot of people would be asking like, why have you just gone home or why have you, like, why have you stopped travelling? You know, we've got a lot of stay home, don't travel backlash out there, but we can't get home to our country. Um, so Prices are pretty ridiculous. Yeah, prices are ridiculous. We don't have that kind of money. Mm. It's like $15,000 a person or something ridiculous like that. And we can only stay so long in a country because of the visas. So we're just... We're doing the right thing, we're, we're COVID safe, we get tested, we wear our masks, you know, do all the right things, but we're making the most of it. Every country we've gone to, we've abated by their quarantine rules, we've done all their laws. The only thing is we keep finding countries without quarantine rules or quarantine laws. So, just we were, keep travelling. Because we can't go home either, we have to keep moving because the visas of each country runs out. Yeah. So, it's not like we can stay put in one place, it doesn't work like that. And we can't get home. The only way we can get home is to um, swim there or sail. Which is what we've got coming up actually. So we'll be sailing the Pacific Ocean from Panama to Australia yep. in 2021. So Island hopping along the way where possible. Yeah, we've got, we've got some awesome places. It's like Thailand, Paris, Amsterdam. We've got videos coming out on all of that and what it's like traveling currently through a pandemic. Um, but there's a lot of benefits throughout like in, in, in Paris. In Paris we, um, we went to the Eiffel Tower and anyone who's been there you know it takes about six hours to get from base to top but it took us about half an hour from buying tickets, talking to people, getting on the lift, getting to the top yeah. and then 30 seconds to get down. <laughs> like it was insane. Yeah so it's um, we're going to bring out with a few travel hacks, travel tips and definitely some travel apps that you need to download if you're looking to travel in the future. Hot spots like Bangkok when we were there, uh, Koh San Road, hot spots like that just aren't going to be around for a couple of years because of Corona. Um, but that allows us to check out the natural kind of side of travelling a bit more. Yeah, it's more, more peaceful, more islands, more, more natural things to do. Less people. Yeah, less people is great. That's what you want to aim for if you're travelling after a pandemic. Um, essentially going to waste your money getting the spots that you think are going to be off the chain and then um, better off back in your lockdown. <laughs> yeah, a new segment called, what's it called? What's it called? It's going to be called... Where are we now? Where? That's good. What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking now? I think like a what's, what's happening in January. We'll go through each month and keep everybody updated at least. What's hot to chop? <laughs> People are confused. I think mine I've got a... Well, I've got a Facebook message. What was it Facebook recommendation or something and it popped up about Tamara's birthday about three or four years ago? Oh, no, no, no. You know the memories on Facebook. So my sister shared a memory of us in Sydney and she, she freaked out. She's like, did you leave Jake? <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to try and keep people a bit more updated, I think. Yeah. Um, and also sp spread it out a bit. We love Thailand, but there's so much more to see as well. Yeah. So we had a great 2020, um, traveling around places like Thailand, Mexico, Paris, um, Amsterdam, and now in Panama. And we're just going to keep going. So if you want to find out how we afford to keep traveling this long, um, that's going to be coming up in some future episodes. We're going to tell you all of our little tricks on how we do things. And don't forget to jump onto our website, www.lockdowntravelers.com. Whole heap of stuff on there as well. We've also got the Tiki Talkie and the Instagram. Follow us everywhere. There's a link tree link in the description below. And that'll take you anyway, like anywhere we are. Yeah, all of our stuff. So you'll get a bit more detail on where we are and how to get there. Yeah. But yeah. We're going to come out with a fair few different videos, um, mainly on travel. Essentially, it's all actually on travel. Yeah, it's all on travel. <laughs> I'm like, what else are we 
we gonna do? <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're gonna try and sail back to Australia. Just a couple of Australians who are traveling around. Um, it's a bit hard for us to get home at the moment because flights are so expensive and it's better off for us to keep on traveling. And um, by a bit hard, he means almost close to impossible. Almost close, but nothing's impossible. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go bro. We're gonna go get some fried chicken. Yeah, so make sure you like, subscribe and follow along as we set sail soon, but currently, check out this beach.